Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The Lahaina wildfire is now the deadliest American fire in the last 100 years. The Hawaiian Attorney General is working to find the exact cause of the fire. Many have blamed down power lines, but that is still not confirmed. Hundreds of people are still unaccounted for. The state attorney general announced a major drug bust at a Roseville home. The AG says nearly 10,000 fentanyl pills were found, along with close to $60,000 in cash and two handguns. CHP says a 31-year-old man was killed after he was hit by a car on Calvine Road in Elk Grove. The man was walking in the bike lane, pushing a shopping cart. CHP says the driver waited on scene for officers to show up. Employees at a Stockton taco truck were shaken up after they were robbed at gunpoint. This video shows the robbery. In less than a minute, criminals made off with more than $1,000 in cash, a necklace, and even allegedly destroyed two phones. Police are now investigating. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office is now trying to find the identity of a man who drowned while crossing the river near Beer Can Beach. The office says he appears to be a Hispanic man in his 30s. Anyone with information, please reach out to the Yuba County Sheriff's Office. Elk Grove police arrested a man accused of stealing a car. Officers tried to pull the car over, but they say the driver would not stop. Driving into the Emerald Lakes Golf Course and then, look at that, ended up in a pond. The driver was eventually taken into custody and the car was removed from the water. Wildfires are burning right now in northern Canada, forcing people to evacuate the rural town of Yellowknife. It's a city of about 20,000 people. There are more than 200 fires burning in Canada right now. Police are now investigating after a shooting on campus at a college in Georgia. They say two bodies were found in a parking lot between dorms. The victims were a 20-year-old woman and a 25-year-old man. This is new video from onboard the Southwest Airlines flight that was forced to land again in Houston after an engine caught fire. Thankfully, no one on board was hurt and the FAA is now investigating. President Joe Biden is set to visit Lake Tahoe for the weekend before he heads to Maui to see the wildfire damage. He's said to be staying on the north side of the lake on the Nevada side. He's the first president to visit since 2016. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.